What you're seeing here is the dungeon generation algorithm for my gun game. If you're new to this devlog series, Gun Game is a roguelike where you craft your guns to your liking and use those guns to clear bullet hell levels. It's being developed in the Godot engine with C Sharp. My initial attempt at dungeon generation was done with a slightly modified version of the Walker algorithm that Heartbeast goes over in this video. A link to that video is in the description. The Walker is basically a square that you march around the tile map. You can adjust parameters like how often it changes direction, how many minimum and maximum steps it should take before changing direction, and how many total steps to take before finishing. The walker worked out really nicely initially. I slightly modified the algorithm outlined by Heartbeast so that the brush that paints the tiles was a circle. That gave me softer and more organic looking edges. Unfortunately, I found that the walker's algorithm didn't quite produce levels that were easy to segment into different areas. And what I mean is, it was really difficult to figure out how to place enemies within the level. It was also not straightforward to place the start and exit positions in sensible locations. I tried to solve these issues by identifying points of interest within the level with my own algorithm. It basically worked like this. I'd pick the average position of all of the tiles, I'd then get a handful of the most distant tiles from the average position, and I'd determine a point of interest by squashing nearby tiles together, ensuring that a minimum of 15 degrees was between each line drawn from the average position to the point of interest. Point three is kind of confusing, but I basically was just making sure that the points of interest were spaced out far enough from each other. Even with this system, which technically worked pretty well, the points of interest didn't feel interesting. They were just semi-okay spots to put whatever I needed to put there. This ended up being just an underwhelming solution for my needs, so I began my search anew for a dungeon generation algorithm. At that point, I had a good idea of the specific problems that I needed to address with the new algorithm. I came across this one, which doesn't appear to have a proper name, so I'll call it the Tiny Keep algorithm, since it appears to have been developed by the developer of a game called Tiny Keep. This Reddit user made a very cool visualization of the algorithm, and the Gama Sutra article also has great visuals. Links to those are in the description. It was immediately clear to me that this algorithm would solve the problems I had been having with the walker. It segments rooms into logical chunks, which can easily be designated as special areas or points of interest. The algorithm uses some graph theory for the connection of its rooms. This creates a graph structure perfect for identifying things such as leaf rooms, rooms that have one way in and one way out, which could be used for optional encounters. I even saw potential in this algorithm to insert handmade rooms using a mixture of randomly generated rectangles with pre-made rooms, which opens up even more possibilities. And I later found out that I was able to generate rooms with arbitrary shapes and fit them into the algorithm with few issues. Here's a high-level overview of the algorithm and how it works. First. Place rectangles of random size within a certain radius of the origin. These rectangles represent rooms. You can freely choose which radius to use and how many rooms to generate, as well as the range of dimensions for each room. Then, using a separation steering behavior, separate all the rooms until no rooms are overlapping with any other room. If you're unfamiliar with steering behaviors, I've linked a great resource to this in the description. Next, identify the main rooms. These are the rooms that are best suited for your gameplay needs. I simply sorted the rooms by area descending and then took the top 30% of those. Then do a delineate triangulation between all the main rooms using the room center points as the vertices. This part is a bit technical and I haven't taken the time to learn exactly how a delineate triangulation works, but you can probably find a freely available library to use for this. I used Delinator Sharp. Basically, what this will do is create a graph such that each vertex is connected to each other vertex, either directly or indirectly, and ensure that none of the graph edges intersect each other. This is important because later on, we'll need to use the edge data to generate hallways, and we don't want our hallways to be a spaghetti mess. Now that we have a delinear triangulation, the next step is to create a minimum spanning tree from this graph. 
This is a pretty straightforward thing to implement, and there are plenty of resources on this. What a minimum spanning tree produces is a graph where each node is connected either directly or indirectly to each other node, and there are no loops, meaning that the minimum number of edges are used to connect the nodes of the graph, such that there is only one valid pathway between any two nodes. A minimum spanning tree is great for getting the overall structure of the dungeon, but in the game we probably actually want to include a little bit of looping to give the illusion of a dungeon that has several pathways to the exit. To do this, it's as simple as taking some of the edges from our Delaunay triangulation and adding them back to the minimum spanning tree that was created. I just took a random number of edges that weren't included in the minimum spanning tree and added them back into the list of edges. Okay, so the graph is created that contains information about how all of the main rooms are connected to each other. The next step is to create a representation of hallways. These should either be single straight lines or two lines together that form a 90 degree angle. I'm pretty sure you can get fancier with how you want your hallways to look, but this works well enough for now. Once our hallway representations are generated, we need to check all of the non-main rooms for intersection against those hallway lines. So we iterate over all of the non-main rooms, checking each room rectangle for a collision with a hallway line. If the room does collide with a hallway line, we keep it around to be drawn to the tile map later. These rooms make up our hallway chunks. And finally, we trace around all of the hallway lines, painting in any tiles that are not already painted. This will ensure that at a minimum, there is at least a few block wide hallway to connect rooms. Now that the level generation is done, you can play with it and tweak parameters as necessary. I'll certainly be doing a lot of that over the coming weeks. I'm not going to go too in depth on this part, but it is possible to support arbitrary room shapes. It requires a bit of abstraction, and when you're checking for room overlaps in the separation phase, you need to check for polygonal collisions and not simple rectangle collisions. But it is possible and adds a lot of variance to the output. I'm still working on this, and I have yet to see how well this works for gameplay, but it works at a technical level. It's also possible to support pre-made rooms. This would be as simple as using a pre-made room in place of a generated rectangle and then making sure the room is considered a main room so it doesn't get lost during the generation. So now I've got a nice foundation to test on. Because there's lots of data involved in the random generation, I have plenty to work with to determine special encounters and enemy spawns among other things. The next steps for me are to tighten up the existing gameplay systems and start filling out the levels a bit more with props and more intelligent enemy spawning logic. That's all for now though, I'll see you in the next devlog. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Consider supporting my work by purchasing Swordslinger on Steam. Link in the description.